Hello and welcome to today's OS Forensics tutorial, where we'll explore the process of obtaining data from an Android device using OS Forensics. Our focus will be on the Android Artifacts module in conjunction with the OSF Extract app, used to extract valuable information such as text messages, call logs, contact details and images. Before we dive into the process of extracting data, we need to ensure your Android device is in developer mode and connected to your computer via USB. We'll be leveraging the OSF Extract app and the Android Debug Bridge, known as ADB, which is provided by Google to interface with the Android device. It is important to note that when connecting your Android device to your PC, you may be prompted to choose from a range of USB connection settings. It may take you several connection attempts to figure out the correct setting selection for your particular device in order to successfully connect with the software and launch OSF Extract. To turn on USB debugging, we first need to enable developer options. On the Android device, go to the Settings app. Near the bottom, go to the About Phone option. You will be required to tap the build number seven times to enable the developer options menu to be shown in settings. Once enabled, you can select system from the settings menu and enable USB debugging within developer options. Now that your Android device is ready to be connected, let's move to your PC where we'll demonstrate the usage of Android artifacts in OS Forensics. Please note, it is mandatory to have a case selected when using the Android Artifacts module. Start off by opening the Android Artifacts module and selecting New Acquisition. From there, you can select Track Data with OSF Extract App, which will use the companion OSF Extract App to retrieve SMS MMS and contact details. If desired, you can enable copy files with ADB pool to copy files and directories from an Android device to a destination folder using the command. Specify a destination target location to save the files that will be obtained from the device. Copy to folder will place the files on a local directory on the system. Create VHD image will place the files within a virtual hard drive. Name your device and then click Next. Please note that this device name will be added to the case as a device, so ensure that you use a relevant name. From this page, select your device and then click Start. If you cannot see your device, ensure that you have enabled USB debugging and that your phone is connected to your computer via USB cable. The status of your Android device will fall into one of three categories. Connected and ready to use, disconnected or unauthorized, which means that the device is not set up and requires the settings to be accepted. Once you click Start, OS Forensics will install and launch the OSF Extract app onto your device. You may also be asked to allow USB debugging when you plug in the device. This is separate from the app permissions and is required. When the app is started on the device, you will need to grant the requested permission to allow the app to transfer the data. Once complete, tap the transfer button within the app to begin the supplemental data transfer to OS Forensics. Transfer time will depend on the number of text messages, contacts and call logs on the device. The current progress will be shown within the app and noted by the item count fields in OS Forensics. After the process has been completed, if copy files with ADB pull is enabled, it will proceed with the logical copy. During this process, please ensure that you keep the app open on your Android device. After the imaging process is complete, you can view the retrieved data in the Android Artifacts module. You can scroll through call logs, SMS and MMS messages, contacts, conversations, and see a list of the photos acquired. Items can be selected and added to the case. With the device image acquired, 
other OS Forensics modules may be useful in locating evidence. These include the file name search module for finding pictures and videos, and the create and search index module to create a searchable index of the file contents on the device. If you have generated a VHD image of your Android device, this can always be viewed at a later date or on a different machine by using load existing in the Android Artifacts module. We hope this tutorial on obtaining data from Android devices using OS Forensics has been informative. For more information on OS Forensics or to download a free trial, visit osforensics.com.